It's your boy, Chris with the next. And I told you, B, I'll be back. <laughs> Cause I'm that real ass nigga that be talking the shit on the YouTube flow with my wig. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just being silly. But yeah, I've been working nine to five, getting that money. <laughs> yeah, I've been working nine to five, doing my job just have a lot of things going on but I have not forgot about y'all at all at all got my uh, Mary J Blige no more drama wig on no more drama alright so the reason why I have two different sides to my face you see this this is Chris with an X and this is everyday Chris. Um, this is the power of androgyny. The power of androgyny. Now, if you don't know what androgyny is, it is when a person has both male and female characteristics, whether they were born that way or they can make themselves look that way. Um, facial wise, that's different from hermaphrodite. That's uh, genitalia I'm talking about face wise. It is very different. It is, um, and um, you know, I like to entertain. I like to tell people they can be themselves. Because what I do is more of an extreme version. This is what I look like every day. This is my everyday face, minus the hair, because, you know, I couldn't wear half a wig. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how you do that. But this is my everyday face. No makeup whatsoever. And this is my Chris with the next face. You know, I like to entertain. I like to be over the top. Now, when you go to um, modeling shows and fashion shows, they will have a, something like, let's say, like a letter, a shirt made of letters, like legit letters. Then when you go to that, it'll be on the runway, but then when you go to the actual store, it'll have, um, the shirt will just be a, a graphic tee with letters on it. And that's basically what I do, like, I have extreme, like, extreme colors or, like, extreme things. But in real life, like, if a, if a guy just wants to dye his hair, like, a, a, a simple color, like a simple red or something, you know, a lot of people be like, oh, well, that's so gay. Why I gotta be gay? It's not. It's really not. We put females down so much when they held us up. Have you heard the uh, James Brown song? Uh, this is a man's world, but it'd be nothing without a woman or a girl. Because it sure wouldn't. Women bring, women bring that extra oomph, that extra thing, you know. And sometimes I feel like I'm paying tribute to them. And I'm not LGBT. And I have a lot of people being like, oh, well, who will date a man that looks like this? A strong one, a strong woman, a, a, a good woman. Um, I am weird, I'm weird as hell, I'm uh, entertaining weird, and I ain't going to change none of my colors for nobody. And this is only like a fad, a fade, this is, this was, this is not like an everyday thing. I mean, uh, um like a yearly thing or, or I don't know how you say it like forever like some people like David Bowie you know he stopped once he felt like he proved this point then he started wearing like his regular suits and haircuts and Prince toned it down a lot too but he toned it down more of a sexual um, way rather than you know uh, his you know true androgynous androgynous way and those are two of my inspirations that you know I lost this year that we lost that we lost this year musically wise because I I'm musically too I write a lot of songs I'm going I'm going to get into more of that but um yeah they they was very like if they could do it I could do it too and then you know they took a lot of heat you know I take a lot of heat um but the hardest thing you could do in this world is be yourself 
and I'm here just here to tell you to be yourself. You know, this channel is mainly to uh, motivational speaking. It's just a reflection of what I do, entertainment-wise. Um, you saw the video of my garden. I do an update video of that. It's just mainly like this channel. I, I don't want. To, I don't do one specific thing. But my, one of my specific things is to um, motivational speak and help people, help people be themselves. And you know, th that's just the uh, you know that's just the power of you know being diverse, being a chameleon. You can change. You can do all different types of things and looks when it comes to androgynous. But especially in the black community, you know, it's not really, you know, mostly accepted or any type of fashion. You always got to be this hyper masculine person. Now I'm hyper masculine when you when you mess with me. Because, you know, the, the people that you be thinking that can't beat your ass be the ones that beat your ass. They'll beat your ass crazy. And it's the ones that be all hyper masculine. Yeah, what? Uh, yeah, what? What, nigga, what? First gunshot go off, they run. They run like it's a sale. It's a Black Friday sale. You know, <laughs> they run like it's a it's a game of track. But it's a lot of people that you think, like, looks can be deceiving. You know, don't be fooled by looks. I know in this generation, if you look hot and sexy, you know, that's supposed to be, that, that's supposed to be something. That's supposed to mean something. Like, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Like, nothing at all. You know, I just feel, yeah, you know, I just feel like I had to do this or talk about this because, and it's probably the last time I will, like, address it, but, um, I just feel like people get, you know, confused with, you know, androgynous with um, cross dress and trans uh, vestites and all of the uh, drag queens, all of that. I'm none of that. But I do respect those people because it does go like kind of hand in hand. But no, I'm a man. I love being a man. And I'm going to be a weird, crazy, ah, in your face type of person. Because I've been called a rock star even before I did all of this. And I'm like, like, wh like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? But what, you know, a lot of rock stars went against the norm. Like, you had Prince, you had David Bowie, you had um, Elvis Presley I was just reading about, where he was shaking his hips, you know, back then you couldn't do that. That was just too, too much. You know, you had a lot of TV shows that went against the norm. Um, I can't remember which one, but it was in the 60s where even if you was a married couple, you couldn't, like, sleep in bed to insinuate, like, if you was having sex, even though you was married. You know, you have a lot of people that go against the norm. That's what makes a rock star. That's what makes people, people, you know, go against society because you only really get one life. Maybe you get reincarnated, I don't, I don't know. I ain't there and I ain't trying to be there yet. But, yeah. Just live your life, do you, be you. I feel like I'm forgetting some things. Maybe I'll put them in the end credits if I remember it. Um, I got work in a bit, so I gotta take off. But yeah, any comments, questions, concerns, Leave in the comment section below. Um, anything you want me to talk about, leave it in the comment section below. You know, like I said, I'm happy with this side, and I like this side. I like both sides. This is my entertainment side. This is my everyday side. So if you see me in person, this is what I look like. But my, uh, you know, my image is still out there. People gonna talk ish. If you want to hate, you can hate, you can troll all you want, but you're going to join the block party, the Chris with the next block party. Or if you in person, if you see me or try to do anything, just know that you may, you, you may got some people that you, that, um, that you need to see because you mess with me. Like there's some people that you may need to see. Again, 
don't let looks fool you. Um, yeah, I gotta run now, but till then, this has been your boy Chris with the next on the power of Androgynous. Peace.